Have you ever just wondered What is ancient secret knowledge all about? And if you haven't, then you need to watch this. Hi, my name is Nicole Renee, and this is Enlightened Energy, where I am in here right now to enlighten your energy to help become one of the enlightened on this planet, to bring a better way than the way that we are bringing right now. To do this, we need to understand the ancient ways. And I mean the ancient original ways. This is something that you will not find in any books no matter where you research. This research has come from hours and hours of sessions of channeling with spirit to understand the complexity of how it affects our life on a daily basis, to hinder our vibration subconsciously and we don't even know it. The simple act of burning a candle For one, the vibration of a candle brings ambiance, brings a romantic feeling, brings an up-level and vibrational feeling, correct? Anything that is used to, to get yourself in a higher vibration is being used as an offering to God. In other words, you're using it to, high, to vibrate to a higher level where God is. So therefore it becomes sacrilegious if you do it incorrectly. How many know the correct way to light, charge, and also de-energize a candle before tossing? If not, you curse yourself multiple times in different ways, and I will show you how. And when I mean curse yourself, I mean energetically. What I'm here to do is divulge the secrets that we do every day and do not think about it. I'm going to give you the reason of what's going on behind the scenes and why you can't move forward with your life and why you feel trapped and why you feel like you can't ever get what you get and why money always slips out of your fingers, why things always happen. That is what I wanna do, is unleash the secrets to help you gain a better life. <clears throat> so knowing the intention of a candle is for to bring you into a higher vibration, that right there is being an offering to God. So right there energetically, that right there is a subconscious offering to God. Because that's got where God's vibration is, is on a higher vibration, and that's where you want to be, so you're lighting the candle to be on a higher vibration. even though you may not think it is, energetically and subconsciously it is because subconsciously you're programmed and that's why you go to do it because it makes you feel better because you want to be at a higher vibration closer to God. I buy these little Archangel Michael candles. I like them. If you guys want one, let me know. I can have one ready to go and charged for you and mailed probably pretty inexpensively. I like them Archangel Michael. Now how I go about charging a candle, <clears throat> first thing I do when I get it is I take red felt pin, because the red is love. Cancel, clear, delete, all angles. And so that way I'm getting rid of all of the vibrational energy of the secret society that put their energy into this because what they did is they put their energy in this to make this, but to keep the secrets from you so you curse yourself using it. 
I'm going to give you the subconscious understanding of what's going on. Always do that first. I always like to take the red pen and go around the edges and say sealed in with love as I go around it. This one you can see is burned all the way down. And it's got some dark on here, which I do major energy work every day. So if there's some darkness, then that's catching all the darkness that I didn't have to catch. Archangel Michael's energy does that. Now that you've done this and gotten rid of that negative energy, now you can cleanse the energy of the whole candle and infuse it with an other energy that is of nothing but pure love and light. And that means energy and love. And that's what you want to create because as a creator, because we're all conscious creators, whatever we give, we shall receive energetically speaking. So we're going to give the best we can to this. So we're going to be focused on what we're doing. I put one hand here and one hand here on a brand new candle, put it down by my heart chakra, and then do the three breaths of God that I teach. And on the third, on the third, or on the second breath, actually, I'll breathe in and then blow it in to the candle and vibrate the candle with the intentions of what I'm trying to create, which is Archangel Michael keeping me safe and protected so I can get to all my blessings. So I put that intention into the candle and seal it in. Then once I'm done, then there'll be a wick on top. Don't ever light the wick because you have to open the channel of the candle first to be able to attain the full amount of energy of the candle that you just put in there. So you just take the wick, and take your scissors and say bless as you cut it. And on this side, you take over the garbage and as you get ready to dump out, say bless and dump it in the garbage. Because this is all going as an offering now that you know that what it is, now you're going to treat it like one. So now you've cut the candle wick that creates the opening channel for that energy that you've just put in there. Now when you light it, that adds the fire to, for creation. Now if you ever go anywhere and you think you need to put your candle out because you're afraid of a movie of fire, well that's probably a good reason that you should do because in your subconscious you might be actually programming yourself to have a fire by manifesting. So if that bugs you, then do it. And if not, then don't worry about it. But if you ever need to leave, don't ever blow it out because energetically our subconscious energy that when we get ready to blow that out comes out with that breath. And when you add breath with that fire, it's very, very potent. And so you're cursing yourself right there because that negative energy about how you feel about everything subconsciously is coming up and then going into that and then also blowing it out, which is not good. You should always use a snuffer and snuff it out and say bless. Then when you're done, it has a little bit of smoke. You can grab that smoke over your hands and just bring it up over all your chakras. Catch the smoke, bring it over all your chakras. Catch the smoke and then do underneath of both feet. So we're blessing because we've already blessed the candle. So when it's already done, you've got to put it out. What you're doing is you're blessing your also your energy. Otherwise, if you have one that burn out naturally like this one did, then what I need to do is defuse, de-energize this candle because this ant candle now is full of energy that it caught from protecting me. Yeah, that's what the intention was for. So there's energy in here. If you just throw it away and it breaks, that's boot bad juju energy on you because that's open energy, open channel. You break the jar, which if you're just going to, the, go, go, ugh, going to go to the trash, it's going to be broken. Therefore, to actually knock the energy out of this. So if it does get broken, it doesn't matter. And there's no curses on you. <clears throat> Same thing here, here. And then I just say, clear, cleanse and charge this candle with divine energy infused with love and light and all things that bring me to homeostasis and my goals into fruition. Then I breathe in the light.
and vibrate it cleansed. Your vibrational frequency of that cleansing that candle is the most powerful thing you can use. Over sage, over no BS spray, over everything. Sound vibrational frequency can clear anything. That's just cleared it. And then you can, I just say bless and toss it away. And that way, if it does break, you're not getting yourself all that negative energy then that was coming after you, that was, you know, that, was, that this was catching, then breaks and then subconsciously it manifests in your life as lots of stuff. That right there is just one ancient little secret that the secret society does not want you to know. Why? Because it's called the law of attraction. The secret society knows that the law of attraction is the law of every human on this planet. Whatever those humans are going to think about, we're going to bring about. So if we can get them like little mice to think about certain things, we'll make money on it, make money on it, make money on it. That's just how the law of attraction is. The energy for the law of attraction is like a robot cook out in the universe. Your energy that you're expelling out subconsciously is going up to that robot and that robot is producing a meal for you. And it's going to give you exactly what you ordered subconsciously through manifestations in your day, in your time, and with people and everything. So you're going to emit a certain energy that's going to affect everybody a certain way. That's called the law of attraction. They don't want you understanding the law of attraction on an intimate level like I teach. I teach the law of attraction on a way that's never been done before. Finding the, all the little secrets that they keep from us, but they keep us doing nonstop daily. <clears throat> always thinking the worst all the time. The movies are always thinking it's worse. Yes, we, it always ends good, but our first thing is to always think in the worst because we're gonna get killed. So they're programming you right there to always think the worst because in, in all the movies, it's gotta get worse before it gets better, right? It's coming, but it's always gonna get worse. So they're programming you to always think the worst. And if you always think the worst, then every time you have a decision to make that is run by emotion, you're always gonna think the worst. Instead of taking control of that mind and saying, no, I know that my mind controls my reality. And if I think the worst, I'm gonna get the worst. So I'm gonna take my mind back and my power back and say, no, I'm going to think the better actual vibration rather than the negative vibration because I know the higher vibration brings me higher vibration stuff and the lower vibration brings me lower vibration stuff so depending on how I feel when I converse in the world is what I'm going to get back and the energy and it goes so deep it's just as far as how much scar tissue and how many accidents you've been in in your whole life how does your body feel? Because if your body is hurting, that's subconsciously manifesting more pain too without you thinking and knowing about it. So when you're on autopilot thinking about all these worries and stuff, that's your body manifesting more pain for you to be delivered to. It's like, give me more pain, that's what I want because that's all I think about. Now, it's hard to think about no pain when you're in pain, right? But truly, in these instant healings that I've been seeing with people, it's instant. As soon as they make that mind shift, I can sense the energy upstairs and how the energy shifts and, and have a, a, an idea of what that timeline is. And it's totally a new timeline, a whole new outcome, a whole new life, a whole new everything from what that person was going to do to shift here. And then everything shifts and you get into a whole new dimension and everything else is new. You can have the same people, same everything, but how you go about and how you are perceived is going to be totally different. And it's kind of like, if you can imagine that movie Groundhog Day, where you go back and you do it over and over and over, no matter what, you're always going to go back and live it again. What if you could do a test with yourself and say, well, today, I'm going to get out of bed and 
I'm gonna act like I shed my old self and I got a brand new self that I just put on and it's a brand new page, brand new energy. What do I wanna create? And start that every day instead of thinking about all the stuff that you don't wanna think about and those worries because those worries manifest more worries. But trying to get ahead of it and say, you know what, I left that old me there. I'm gonna make a mental shift in my mind realizing that my reality can shift if instant healings can happen that's just from a mind perspective shift that's all it is and because when you shift that perspective you're on a whole brand new dimension where that stuff didn't happen anymore therefore the stuff you go out about your day is going to be different you're going to get different people in different situations because your energy is vibrating out a different vibrational feeling so if you go out one day and you're not feeling very good, then lots of little things could be irritate you through the day because that's what vibrational frequency you're on. And then if you get up the bed the next day and you're feeling really good, then you just flow through the day and it just feels really good. And you get coffee brought to you and you get this done and it's just like everything just flow, flow, flows. That's the difference because you're on a whole new dimension where that stuff below doesn't exist anymore. It can if you want it to. If you pull yourself down and you make yourself feel down, otherwise, that and that, two different dimensions cannot, co they cannot exist at the same time. So as soon as you make that shift in vibration, that shift in feeling, you're leaving that garbage behind, therefore flushing the turds in the toilet and letting it go. It's when you go back and play with those turds in the past that the pain begins again. And our minds become addicted to pain because our bodies are in pain. Once our bodies become in pain, that our mind becomes in pain, then we're manifesting pain all the time. Therefore, it's really good to make that mind shift. So if you're looking for a personal, these personals that we're doing right now with spirit is absolutely amazing. I say we because spirit is with me all the time, with me right now. It's a one-on-one -on -one session with spirit through video chat face or through phone, or I can just do a regular healing with you on a video, but the personals are, include a healing also. But by the time you're done, you have completely unplugged from your old reality, plugged into a brand new reality. And I've taught you how to ride the vibration of that reality. And then you're ready to go. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Just by allowing spirit to channel through me and let them have a whole one-on-one -on -one session with spirit. And every, every session is different because every person is different. But every time we get done, it's always the same. It's always mind boggling, changing, instant healings. It's amazing. Therefore, if you're looking to get any kind of advice, I would say get it from spirit. Get it from the highest vibe channel you can possibly get it from if you need advice. Otherwise, take your own advice. Because really, truly, all I'm here to do is give you the knowing that you're on the right path, what you're seeing and what you're doing, and giving you the confidence to know that the answers are within you. And that's what spirit loves to do. When you have a one-on-one -on -one session with spirit, they make you, spirit makes you understand how in control you are. It makes you feel how in control you are. Let you feel that vibration. And it's, it's the, one of the most powerful things you can feel is to feel that much power within you. And how you can use spirit and how it's supposed to be intended to use to ride that higher vibration every time you see a sign or synchronicity. And that's what it's supposed to be like because we're supposed to be learning how to feel our feelings not stuff our emotions because the more we feel our feelings the more expressive we are the more creative we are the more we stuff everything is more of a restriction on our vibration which makes our body sick our mind sick our energy sick god wants us to grow not restrict but the societies don't want us to grow so that's their job is to keep us sick that's part of their program in this whole thing is to keep us at that mindset and it's like one of those things where when we take our mindset back, it's our like in the moment where, wow, we're actually in control here. And that moment, you, they, nobody can ever take away from them. And that is enough to let them just soar. It's absolutely the most amazing thing. 
absolutely love the work that I do now. Totally blessed. But just bringing out the ancient secrets. How powerful a candle is. And how you're feeling when you blow out that candle is, is everything. Which you should never do, a blow out a candle. You should never even snuff it out with your finger with your spit. Because your spit holds your toxins from your negative energy. Because your body's always trying to release toxins. So your spit has toxins in it. Therefore, when you put it on your fingers and you go like that, you're putting that toxins into that fire. So it's the same thing, if not even worse, than blowing it out. Because you're trying to extinguish it. You're trying to dominate it. So there's a, 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 a that type of energy in there. And so when you're talking the law of attraction and energy, like I do it, because I do it on the mass scale, I'm like the law of attraction on steroids. When you understand that that one little thing that you did right there was nothing to you, but you're putting money in the bank to the secret society because you're, go you're, you're energetically subconsciously being led down that road that you're gonna make more choices that are gonna put money in their pocket rather than making better choices and getting out of that mindset. It's truly interesting when you start breaking down the law of attraction on that intimate level and getting into the energetic part of everything because energy is everything. And when you realize energy is everything, you make more conscious decisions every day in every little thing you do, even sending somebody a text to make sure you're in the right energy when you send that text because no matter what you say is gonna be offensive to that person. Even if it's a good text, it's still gonna have that offensive energy because of the energy that you put into it because you, you're not liking yourself that day or you've had frustrations that day. That energy, no, no matter how you try to hide it, if you don't deal with it, is going to be infused in everything you do. And when you do that, then by the law of attraction, you're going to get th that type of energy back at you in different situations. That is the one law that we all live by is the law of attraction. It doesn't matter if you're what color, what race, what religion, what sex, what how old, young, baby, we all are manifesting little creatures. And I am here to teach you how to manifest like you have never manifested before. We're gonna manifest using energy. We're gonna understand energy so intimately that when we go to make a thought, we're already gonna have an idea of our outcome before we even do it. Is that, that, is that a good idea or is that not a good idea? How does that feel? That feels good. That's a good creation. All right, I'm gonna go with it. That's the kind of creative manifesting that I am doing right now and I am teaching. Because when you create like that, that's intention. And when you create with intention, that is powerful. Then, if we can get the masses to understand their power, we can create on the masses. It's absolutely amazing. We're doing some lives over on Facebook right now that are just conversations with spirit and different questions and stuff that are just mind blowing the answers that we're getting. I am so blessed to be able to do what I do. I absolutely love it. I love being a channel for spirit, which is, which is God. God is everything. And therefore we can always get the highest answer. It doesn't matter. It's been absolutely phenomenal. But just to learn the little tiny things, even spitting on the ground, you're hawking a loogie on the ground, you're spitting on the ground, that is a curse unless you say bless. Back in the days, you spit on the ground, that was a curse. And then because that toxins in that spit has your subconscious energy and you're spitting on the ground, if you don't say bless, then that energy, whatever you give, comes back to you. So if you give uh, subconscious energy that day that it's not that good and it goes into that and it comes back at you as energy around you that's not feeling very good. You're consciously creating all the time whether you like it or not. So the more you can be in control of your thoughts, the better. And that's what I teach. I'm going to try to do figure out how to do the lives on YouTube, but right now we're doing lives on Facebook and we're having a lot of fun. We're doing a lot of giveaways doing a lot of healings, doing a lot of personals. It is absolutely amazing. If you're looking for animal communication, I connect directly to their soul. It's absolutely amazing. I just get out of the way and I become the horse. Like you're having a conversation with your horse. I can feel the horse's energy. I can feel the horse's nose. And I can just, it's absolutely amazing. When you let go of the concept that things are not possible, things are possible. And to actually feel like you are the horse and you can feel that long nose and 
and everything and then you have a total different shift of personality even because you can feel their energy and, and you're you're acting out their energy play it's just absolutely amazing they're playing with me right now because i can feel them tickling my nose and tickling my face <laughs> trying to get me to to laugh and lighten up that energy a little bit because on this channel we're learning how to do the Tao Zing which is a way of life Tao is in the flow and Zing is a higher vibration so Tao Zing which is what I created with spirit is a way of life of living in the flow but with a high vibration because when you live in the flow with a high vibration you always are on point on time and you always get where you need to go perfectly without zero stress Less stress manifest, less stress manifest, less stress manifest, right? That's when you need to manifest, not when you're stressed. Stay tuned for the divulging of more ancient secret knowledge coming soon to enlightened energy. Have a blessed day.